Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to the wilderness that is my parents' house. Uh, we are over here because we got to work on the brakes again because the car's making a funny noise when I hit on the brakes. I think they just need to be adjusted, but they're supposed to be self-adjusting, so I'm like, something funny's going on here, so we need to open it up and take a look at it. So I'm going to take my dad up to the store in the car so he can hear it, and then we'll come back and like figure out what's going on, make sure that that's what the issue is and make sure it's not another issue. We're at the Wawa. This is brilliant right here. They put the Reese's in the cooler with the sodas. We're in the beer cooler. Check this out. I don't even know if you guys can see that. <laughs> so after Wawa, we went to go get some, some lunch, some garlic knots right here. Look at these things, they're delicious looking. I should have got 12. Yeah. Here's our pizza. This is the favorite kind of pizza that we ever get, and this is black olives, feta cheese, and eggplant. And it is so delicious. All right, so we're back home. We got the car jacked up. I'm getting the tire off now so that we can take a look at these brakes, because this is the side that's making so much noise, and we're just gonna see if we can adjust the brakes out a little bit. Last time you guys were saying I needed new tires? Yeah, what do you guys think now? Super treads, right? So these are the brakes that were chattering and what the most interesting part to me is you can see that it was chattering by like the different wear areas on the brake pads. Like you can tell that it needed to be adjusted. Here's the issue. This little guy right here is kind of like a little ratcheting mechanism that makes the brake self-adjust. And it hasn't been self-adjusting on this side because the little like teeth there aren't grabbing onto that little piece right there. So every time I hit the brakes, it can't adjust out. So I need to make it so that it can, which mm, I don't know how to do, but we will figure it out. All right, I have it flipped around. So now if you see, if this goes down, it will kind of like adjust the brakes up. Do you see it moving them just there? So that's what it needs to do. So I think I had the other side wrong as well. So I think I'm gonna go take the other side off and flip it around so that those will adjust correctly as uh, also. All right, both tires back on, brakes adjusted, and as I drive it, they'll adjust themselves even more, so I think we're good to go now, hopefully. So I've also been having this issue where like the coolant light shows up up there, and I'd like to figure out what it is. So we get the computer hooked up to it, see what it says. Okay, cylinder misfire, we knew about that one. Knock sensor number one is having issues. Cylinder two misfire. We, we know about that one. We know about that one, but where's where's my coolant issue? <laughs> it says that I have a coolant issue, but I'm not seeing one. Knock sensor one circuit range performance. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, the knock sensor is supposed to uh, retard the timing if it starts knocking, but you don't you don't experience any knocking, do you? Uh, not that I know of. Like, Accelerate. No, but look, there's the coolant thing, and it's like, there's a coolant issue, but I'm totally running in the cool. I don't understand it. There's a giant dog being <laughs> mean and vicious. She loves this thing. Look, it's like a, it's like you brush it like this, and then when the hair gets in, it falls out. Well, you're supposed to hook it up to your vacuum. Well, I mean. So that when you let go of it, all the hair just gets sucked into the vacuum. Yeah. Oh, it's like a Dyson attachment. Yeah. Look at how She's crazy she so looks. She's so good. Belle, huh? Look at her eyes. You alright, Beulah? She's not sure. Do you like it? I think she likes it. I right? think she does. I think she's kind of like smiling. Yeah. This feels so good, Bella. Uh, Bella has this toy box and she's like digging for her favorite toy in here. <laughs> yeah, is that your favorite toy? Oh, no, not your favorite. Putting it back. She puts her toys away too. She just did. Nice work. <laughs> so I found some of these caramel apple Oreos over at my parents' house. We're gonna give these a try because they sound terrible. All right, here's what they look like. There's a green side and a brown side. I opened mine up for you. And uh, it okay. smells bad. <laughs> for real, I'm like, you know that that like feeling in your mouth that you get just before you throw up, where it's like you're salivating a lot. That's happening to me right now. Do you like it? I'm gonna eat the entire thing right now instead of taking like one bite. Let's give it a try. It's like, um, it tastes like gum. Do you taste that? It kind of tastes like gum. Oh, it does! Like bubble gum. See the. I don't know, it's just not good. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. <laughs> you want this? No. <laughs> 
These are the gross. These are like the literally the grossest thing I've ever had in my mouth. That's why they weren't opened, I think. Oh man. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like caramel candy, but like with a lot of sugar, like oh, a yeah. lot of extra sugar, and I don't know. The apple is like not. It's like bubble gum. It tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like extra sugary bubble gum, and like the the bit like this kind of biscuit rather than the chocolatey biscuit no oh, not good do not recommend <laughs> i just spit everywhere because it was so gross in order to compensate for that disgusting flavor i'm going to get some of these if you guys don't have these or have never had these you should have them because pull one out so they can see look at how much fudge is in these things Ooh, elves exist elves are real that's um because they're double stuff look at how i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take two and i'm gonna make quadruple st stuffed from the hollow tree. Oh my gosh, does it all say cute stuff? Elves exist. If it only says two things, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, what the heck. Ooh. <gasps> Dunk head first. Oh. Oh no, she's biting its head off. Ma, I don't have a head. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. That's one heck of a sandwich cookie. <laughs> what are those? These are oven mitts. You know what's so weird? Look at the, hold on, look at the, the Look clock? at the clock through here. Oh yeah, it's the difference in frame rate versus the uh, flashing of the LEDs. That's crazy. You want to show them what we made? We made hot dog dropping croissants. Yum. And sweet potato fries. Yes. And the weird looking oven mitt. <laughs> Listen to the noise. <laughs> and a baby Bella. Right, Bella? She's like freaking out now. What? I dropped one french fry for her and now she thinks there's millions of them. No, oh, there isn't. I'm sorry. We're just leaving and we saw this. Oh, he's he's like hidden now. But he's a frog. It was a frog. It was like a really big frog up there. It was right next to my head. Now, this isn't the same one. This one's smaller. Oh, there he oh, there's, is. There was another one right there. No, that was the same guy. That was the same one? Yeah. Oh, man. So many frogs everywhere. It's Frogmageddon. So we drove back home. The brakes worked fantastically. They're not making noise anymore and everything is all good. The uh, coolant light is still on. I don't, can't figure that one out. Everything's totally fine with the car, but it has a light that says coolant. So I don't know. I don't think there's a way to reset it. The computer didn't pack anything up. I don't, I'll have to look it up on the internet. So, but as for me, I gotta go to work tomorrow. So I gotta go to bed now. My three day weekend is over and I'm still tired. So. I will see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.